And this third tree will put the first and second to shame. It is more beautiful than the first two trees. And he can see it with his eyes and he can see the sweet water flowing beneath it. Yet again, he will forget the promises he made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yet again, he will turn to Allah and he will ask, أَدْنِينِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ فَلِأَسْتَظِلَّ بِظِلِّهَا وَأَشْرَ مِنْ مَائِهَا Oh Allah, make me closer to this third tree. Oh Allah, it is better than the first. Oh Allah, it is better than the second. Oh Allah, make me close to this third tree so I can shelter under its shade and I can drink from its sweet water. Allah will yet again say to him, Ya Ibn Adam, أَلَمْ تُوَاهِدْنِ أَلَّا تَسْأَلِنِ غَيْرَهَا Oh Ibn Adam, you broke from promise. Now the second one you've already broke. Can you promise that you were not going to ask for anything else? And yet again you've started again? My brothers and sisters, my brothers. He will say to Allah, هَذِهِ لَا أَسْأَلُكَ غَيْرَ He will begin to beg like a child. When a child desperately needs something from a father, it begins to beg and it begins to use words like pretty please, just this one. Oba, just this one. I will be a good boy. Just give me this thing. Just the last time. And he will beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazihi, oh Allah, just this one. I am not going to ask for anything else. Oh Allah, just make me close to this third tree. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful and the most kind, will make him close to this third tree which is more beautiful than the first and the second. فَإِذَا أَدْنَاهُ مِنْهَا فَيَسْمَعُ أَسْوَاتَ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ He is so close to Jannah that when Allah makes him close to this third tree, he will be able to hear the sweet voices of the people of Jannah. He will be able to hear the people of Jannah rejoicing, the people of Jannah talking amongst themselves. He will be able to hear the Hurin singing, My brothers, would you blame him? He will say to Allah, Udhulniha, Oh Allah, let me go inside Jannah. He has come from a long way. He has come from the depths of the fire of hell. My brothers and sisters, he found it very difficult to come out from the fire of hell. He crawled out of the fire of hell. He walked out of the fire of hell. And the fire of hell caught him as he was leaving. It burned him as he was leaving. He was finally out. My brothers, Allah brings a tree in front of him. And this tree is absolutely beautiful. It has water beneath it. He has never drank water. He has never rested under a tree. Then Allah brings him to, closer to a second tree. And then Allah brings him close to a third tree. And this tree is so close to Jannah that he can hear the people of Jannah talk him amongst themselves. He can hear the sweet voices of the Huri'in and he will not be able to bear it. He will not be able to take it. And he will be forced to say, Oh Allah, udkhul niha. Oh Allah, let me go inside your Jannah. Oh Allah, let me go inside your Jannah. I have come from so far. And I am so close. Let me inside. Allah will say, Shabna Adam, Ma yasrini mink? Ayurdiq, anu'tiyaka dunya wa mithla maha? Oh, Ibn Adam, where are all these cons going to come to an end? All these promises, I'm breaking these promises. When are they all going to come to an end? Where are all these demands that you make? Make me close to this tree. Make me close to that tree. When is it all going to come to an end? When is it all going to stop? أَيُرْضِيكَ أَنُؤْتِيَكَ الدُّنْيَا وَمِثْلَ أَمَاهَا Oh Ibn Adam, would you be happy if I gave you a place in Jannah which was twice as big as the world you came from? In this narration it is mentioned twice as big. In another narration it is mentioned ten times as big. My brothers, he will say to Allah, Ya Rabbi, أَتَهْتَهْتِئُ مِنِّي وَأَنْتَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ Oh Allah, you are playing about with me? 
Oh Allah, you are casting jokes at me, you are making fun of me. You are going to give me, though you are the Lord of the universe, though you are Allah, the creator of the universe, you are playing jokes with the last person to come out of the fire of hell, the last to enter Jannah. You are going to give this servant of yours a place in Jannah, which is two times and in one duration, ten times bigger than the world that I came from. Rabahika ibn Mas'ud. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, who is narrating this hadith, began to laugh and smile. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud asked those that were sitting in front of him, to whom he was narrating this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أَلَا تَسْأَلُونِ مِمَّا أَبْحَدْ Do you not ask me why I am laughing and smiling? Do you not ask me what has made me laugh and smile? Those that were listening to this hadith, they asked Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Oh Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, مِمَّا فَضْحَدْ Tell us what makes you laugh. Why you smile with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud? Share it with him. Listen very carefully. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu says, Hakaza dahika Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was narrating this hadith to us companions, when the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reached this point, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam began to laugh and smile. And we the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'een asked the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya ya Rasulullah, what has made you laugh? Ya Rasulullah, why do you smile? And the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied Min zihki rabbil alameen But I smile because Allah began to laugh Allah began to smile when his servant is saying to him Atastahzi'u minni wa anta rabbul alameen A servant, the last to come out of the fire of hell And he's saying to Allah Oh Allah, are you joking? Are you joking? Are you playing with me? Are you making fun of me? Allah began to laugh. Look at Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala an. Look at the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala an. And then we ask why they received the certificate of Jannah while they were alive. Radiyallahu anhu wa radu an. He has observed the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laughing. When the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated this hadith. He asked upon it himself. And he conveys it to us. And it is because of this, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een received Jannah because they followed the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and thereafter passed it to everybody else. Allah will say to this person, La astahzi umik, walakinni ala ma ashah qadu. I'm not playing about with you. No, am I joking? I am Allah. I am Lord of the universe, the most powerful. And I can do what I please. And I am going to give you a place in Jannah, which is twice and in one duration, ten times bigger than the world you came from. In the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala regarding the same last person to enter Jannah, in the latter part of this hadith, it is mentioned, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to him, Taman, wish, ask for what you like. He will ask, and Allah will provide. Allah yet again will say, Taman, ask, ask for what you like, wish. He will wish, and he will ask, and Allah will provide. And Allah will keep on providing, he will keep on asking, and Allah will keep on providing. When he has asked for everything that he can think of, وَيُذَكِّرَهُ اللَّهُ سَلْكَذَا وَكَذَا Allah will begin to remind him of the things that he has forgotten to ask. Allah will say, ask for this. This person will ask for it. Allah will give. Allah, for example, will say, you forgot to ask for a BMW 7 Series. Now is your chance. He will ask for it. Allah will provide. Oh my servant, you forgot to ask for a convertible. This is your chance. Ask for it. He will ask for it and he will be given. When all his desires are fulfilled, فَإِذَنْ قَطَعَ بِهِ الْأَمَانِ فَهُوَ لَكْ وَأَشْرَةُ أَمْثَالِ Who will take it all and you can have ten times as much? Oh, who is this person? 
the last to come out from the fire of hell and the last to enter Jannah. Not you and I, as you and I, inshallah, will not be from amongst the last to enter Jannah, inshallah. We'll be from amongst the first, inshallah, and this is the last person to enter Jannah, and it is not all over yet. Now that he's received a respectable place in Jannah, ten times bigger than this world, he will say to Allah, Al-Haqni bin Nah. Oh Allah, let me go meet with the people. He will be keen and eager to meet the rest of the people. Maybe now that he is a king in his own kingdom, maybe